Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Welcome back, fellas. I have back to you, I bring back to you, my bad, the biggest misandrist slash feminist slash man hater on earth. The single mom who will never get a man in her life. All that any man will ever do to her is pookie her out and use her for her stink goods. That's it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into the damn video. Hi, my name is Jules, and this is a list of guys to stay away from. Number one, guys who post thirst traps. When a woman posts a thirst trap, I don't know. The projection the projection, projection with her is so real. It's so funny. She literally projects everything that women do onto men. When do men really po post thirst traps? Let's be real here. You rarely see men outside posting thirst traps in the gym posting thirst traps. You don't see men posting thirst traps everywhere they go. Everywhere women go, they have to post thirst traps. Well, there's just something different about it. You're feeling yourself that day in a society that tells us to humble ourselves or cover our bodies up or we can only be sexy for men. You want other women to be like, okay, girl, I see you come through. It's totally different, but guys who- It's totally different when women post, let me let her finish. Post thirst traps are kind of like throwing out their net to see who they can catch. And sure, maybe a woman might do this to fish for compliments, but guys do this- Women only thirst trap to fish for compliments. Imagine that. Women only post thirst, let's be real here. Her stupid ass just said, Women only post thirst traps to get compliments. And for the most part, guys, believe it or not, she only she thinks women only post uh, these thirst traps to get compliments mainly from women. That's why they do it. Like she stated before that when she posts her uh, her pictures as far as her thirst traps, which I don't think anybody would thirst over her. But she said it means more to her when a woman compliments her outfit than a man. She literally said that in one of my old videos. She literally stated that. That's why you know she's idiotic and crazy. You think women are posting thirst traps to actually lure men in? Really? Okay, buddy. It's to fish for victims. This is what you call a fuck boy, okay? If you get with them, get ready for your feelings to be hurt. Get ready for a bunch of word salad things that mean absolutely nothing. Get ready to be let on. Get ready to be played. If a guy is out here posting thirst traps, don't bet on any real commitment or anything serious. Um, he's only going to want to sleep with you. So if you're fine with that, then go for it. But please just protect yourself because these type of men especially have been around the block more than the ice cream man in July. So just be safe. You know what's crazy, guys? No lie, since I've started doing, like, calling her out, she's made about at least 10 of these guys to stay away from. Like, how many of these do you think you actually need? How many times can you keep coming up with the same thing and saying the same thing? Like, let's be real here. How many other ways, how many more ways can you make a list saying these are the type of guys you need to stay away from? Every list, it has 10 bullet, 10 bullet points on the type of men you should stay away from. How, like, pretty much, ladies, she's telling you to stay away from all men. And then she projects. Men are posting thirst traps. The women out there don't even believe you. The women out there actually don't even believe you anymore. Except your, your, your audience, of course, because they're just like you. Side note, be safe with everyone. I don't care if they've had one partner or a hundred. Doesn't matter. I don't care if they're telling you that you are the first person they've ever been with. Protect yourself, it's always. Next, men who have multiple kids by multiple different women. There will be a lot of drama and there will be a lot of issues. There will be a lot of chaos. You cannot change this man, okay? So don't even try. He's probably with you because he needs a babysitter or a place to live because he doesn't have any money. He's paying. The freaking irony, man. Women, let me tell you something right now, real talk. Any man, that has himself together. He has multiple kids. He can have three or four baby mamas. These women will still date those men. 
men will never have a problem if they have multiple baby mothers. You know, you want to know why? Because men aren't looking for handouts. So you're lying on that point. Men aren't looking for somewhere to stay. Men aren't looking forward to getting money from you. Men are not doing the type of things women with children have by multiple men. Women are the ones that always come. I always say this. Women, they will be the ones that are that are coming into a man's life talking about them. Th them and their children are a package deal. When do you ever hear men say that? When? Women with children, some of them, not all of them, they're the ones that are rushing to live in a man's household because he has himself together. You love projecting, but of course, your boy MABW, I gotta flip it back on you and call you out on it. And this is this is for this is forever going to happen to you. Forever going to happen to you. Every single time you put out a video, I'm gonna piggyback off of it and call you right out to dispel your lies. Child support, or maybe he's avoiding child support, so he has to take little gig jobs and nothing stable. So he just needs a place to stay. If those are the type of guys she dealt with. Women out there, to the women with half a brain at least, how many how many of you women out there are going to deal with a guy like that? You know he's just working gig jobs. He has a bunch of baby mothers. Aren't you automatically going to avoid him anyway? You're not telling women nothing new. That's the whole thing. This is something grown women with at least half a brain already know. You're not teaching grown women or, 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 or girls. You're not teaching them anything. You're saying this because you always took in the Pookies and the Ray Rays. You took them in. You took them in all the, way up until, all the way up until your high 30s, possibly even now. You can't resist the Pookie. And because you couldn't resist the Pookie, now you want to try to come tell the women what to avoid when most women aren't going out sad like you. That's the big difference. Most women aren't going out sad like you. Only you are. You find yourself getting serious about this type of man and you have a kid by this man, you will be just another one of his baby moms and having more of his children that he won't take care of. Not to be confused with men who have been married before or they were in a committed relationship and they have one or two kids with somebody that they were long term with. Although... Oh, see, see. See, she wants to try to include her. See how she tries to flip it now? She wants to give the men a little bit of props now who were married and were with one lady and had kids by her because she makes it seem like, okay, well, since I was this lady who had a who had only had two kids by a pookie, I want to just throw that in there just in case. Let me let me flip that because I do have two kids. And, and even though I was with a pookie, you know, you see how they try to make it work? They try to make it work in their favor. Yo, she's lost as hell. You know, nine times out of ten, a lot of these men, when they get divorced or break up and they have kids, are actually looking for someone who will take care of their kids because not a lot of men actually want to be hands on with their kids and they need someone to take over as the mother in the relationship. So anyway, just be mindful of men who have multiple kids with multiple women. Just be especially mindful of men with kids, period, because like I said, they're just looking for somebody to help them take care of their kids most of the time. Since when? I've never seen... Since when have men been looking forward to get with women just so those women can take care of their kids? Since when? Women are the ones that have their kids getting taken care of by the, all, the school systems. They want to send them to all these programs. They, women don't get their kids until nighttime because they want to be out doing what they do. They want their kids in all types of programs or they want their kids drugged up on meds the whole day so they don't even have to deal with them. Look how some of these mothers even treat their children at nighttime. These women want to make sure they're able to have Pookie come over at a certain time at night so they give their kids melatonin to put them to sleep so they can get banged out by Pookie. Go ahead and correct me, do, correct me, you Pookishas out there. Go ahead and correct your boy MABW. I know what y'all be doing. You're not fooling anybody. Men don't do that type of stuff. You women do that stuff on a huge scale all the time. And y'all and y'all so diabolical, y'all even put out videos of what you do to your children. Put them in certain camps that the kids don't even like for the whole summer so you can spend your whole summer with Pookie. Cut it out, man. Friday, you're going out to dinner, getting to know what his favorite color is, and then the next week you find yourself picking up his kids from school. Just, just be careful. Number three, 
he calls his ex crazy. She was crazy. She was psycho. Everything she stated right now, I'm telling my audience, she said this before in other videos. She said this 10 times over already. But for some reason, she keeps putting these videos out because she's running out of material. I, though, I will never run out of things to say to her because I'm going to call her out on it every time. All she's doing is rinsing and repeating her videos. I promise you, she's doing a rinse and repeat every time. And that's why her views on videos like this, they always go down. Believe it or not, the videos I do on her, I get more views by uh, by talking about her on her videos than she does, believe it or not. She doesn't do as many views as I do. And she has a she ha her platform is a little bit bigger, but the people aren't flowing in to watch her anymore. Her audience isn't flowing in to watch her. She has 25,000 subs. She'll probably do about one to 2,000 views on this right here. That's it. And I only got 12,000, about to hit 13,000 subs. And I still do about one to 2,000 views, if not four or 5,000 on her alone. Oh, she was emotional. She overreacted a lot. He's the reason for her being crazy. He's the reason. She, no, the pookie was the reason for you being crazy. That's what happened to you. You're not fooling anybody. That's why you've had a mental breakdown. Because the pookies, they have stretched you out to no point of return. Overreacted and her reaction was deserved. It's one thing to say, you know what, things just, things didn't work out. So we ended our relationship. But it's a whole nother thing to get disrespectful. And how he talks about her is how he's also going to talk about you. He does not respect women at all. Already Number four, he speaks about submission. Just get your purse and just walk away. You don't have to continue the conversation. You don't have to come up with some witty jokes and comebacks. Just thank you for your time and, and get the fuck out of there. Stop wasting your time with these men. He's a podcast bro. Um, he's a red pillar. He probably has a Kevin Samuels tattoo. He thinks your job is to be of service to him. That's Kevin Samuels tattoo. Yo, respectfully, all the ladies out there, get off Kevin Samuels' dick. No man is riding Kevin Samuels' meat rack. Men have been talking about this way before Kevin Samuels. They swear that all the men that think for themselves and been saying this are Kevin, Sam Kevin Samuels minions. Nobody's coat telling Kevin Samuels. You might have a couple of guys out there doing that, but for the most part, a good percentage of men out there, they're not writing Kevin Samuels coattail. That's the, it's so funny. Women like her that are misandrous and feminist, they can come out here with their channels and talk about men, but the men can't have their own channels talking about what women do. It's so funny how that works. And that's why I say she likes to project a lot. So therefore, women that do the same thing that you do, men shouldn't get with women like you. Even though men possibly wouldn't get with women like you anyway, because you're a single crazy, you're a single mom of two that's batshit crazy. There's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. You have no, the, the, your, your problem is you have no balance with it. It's no balance. It's, it's rinse and repeat. It's the same old thing with you. You have no balance at all. And that's why that's why you're probably on meds now and seeing a therapist twice a week, which should which should be up to four times a week. If you want to ask me. Um, and he really doesn't see you as a human being. He sees you as an object. Number five, he talks about sexual things early on. Now, if you guys have that kind of arrangement, OK, that's totally different. I'm not talking about that. But if he is just disrespectful and degrading you and talking about your body and saying inappropriate things before you have shown him that you're comfortable discussing things like that, then just go ahead and end it. He's only with you for that. That's it. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't see you as a human being. You're just a real life blow up doll to him. Keep it moving. Number six, he puts down other women to compliment you. Oh, you're not like other girls. Oh, you're not like other black women. Oh, I'm dating you because black women are so loud angry and aggressive oh you're so calm he's dating a black woman and he would be saying that to the black woman he's with black girls are loud combative and all he'll, he'll be saying that to the black woman come on cut it out no man is saying that no man is coming out there on a huge scale saying you're dip they don't guys don't care to say all that anymore when they meet you they're not even going through the ringer with you like that anymore to say all that they're not doing that men are very simple creatures 
We're not doing all that extra stuff anymore. Men been cut doing that type of stuff out. So what you're saying, only guys have done that to you. And you've actually accepted it because you've dealt with the Pookies and Ray Rays. So if you've accepted that throughout your whole life with men telling you that, aligned to you, then getting up in your busted yam. And now you're mad about it. And like I said to my audience before, this is rinse and repeat. She said this a million times before already. I don't know why people keep, I, I don't understand why the women keep listening to the same thing. But like I said, her numbers ain't even up there. She only did, she only did like 400 views on this in like five hours. That's it. And sweet. Oh, you're not like these modern women out here. You know how to take care of a man. If he's putting down other women to try and compliment you, respect women, and he doesn't respect you. Repeat after me. We are like other girls. So whatever shit you say. All girls are the same. Really? Women out there. She said, we are like other girls. Are any of you women out there watching me right now? Are you like her? I'll wait. Are any of you women watching me right now out there? Are you like her? She wants to put all you women in the same melting pot as her. As if all you women out there act like her. As if all you women out there think like her. Is she serious? All men, we ain't the same. We are not the same at all. We aren't the same. We think for ourselves. We have our own minds. We all, all are not the same. We're different. We're all different. About her, you're saying the same shit about me. What he's really saying is he thinks you're the type of person that he can most definitely take advantage of. Don't fall for it. Number seven, he does not respect your boundaries. I once dated a guy that I told I didn't want to kiss him until I felt comfortable. So as we were walking inside of a restaurant, he did this romantic thing where he spun me around and he tried to kiss me after I told him fucking not to. Men are not stupid. They are very fucking smart. Girl, you're not getting no, no, he ain't want to kiss you. He spent you around and probably turned you to the door. And told you to get the fuck up out of here. That's probably what he did. Come here. He never faced you back towards him. He faced you towards the door. I doubt he wanted to kiss you. But of course you got to come out here and try to give yourself some brownie points. So do what you do, boo. Smart. That's why you have to stay on top of the game at all times. If I say no and you try to cross that boundary one time, there is no more discussion. We are done. I get it. Nobody's perfect. But disrespecting me and crossing my boundaries after I said no is not just some cute human quirk. You're disrespectful and I'm going to kick you in the nuts. If they say, oh, wow, you're so amazing. I just don't understand why you're with a guy like me. <laughs> I'm such a loser. I'm crazy. I'm an asshole. I just don't get it. They. What guy is saying that about himself? That's why we know that you've dealt with the Pookies and Ray Rays. Guys that have, first of all, guys that have, have themselves together, they wouldn't deal with you in the first place. Guys that have themselves together, if they were dealing with you, they wouldn't dare say that about themselves at all. You can miss me with the foolishness, all the fake talk, miss me with it. They are giving you a warning shot before they completely fuck your life over. Do not feel sorry for them. Do not take that as a compliment. Do not think that- That's what her husband did to her. He gave her plenty of warning shots before he messed her life over. The pookie she was with that she gave two children to, that she spread her legs open for. And now her life is oh so bad. She's trying to forewarn the other women. That's what happened to her. It's not happening to other women out there. <laughs> but you can change them. Just say, thank you for warning me and leave block them on every single way that they might try to communicate you. When people tell you who they are, believe them. They know they are underqualified to be with someone like you and they don't understand how you've lowered your standards. They don't even understand it. If they're telling you that they're a loser, just believe it. Don't argue it. Just thank them for the fact that they even gave you that warning and leave. Racists, homophobes, ableists, it's not cute. I don't care how desperate. Irony, the hypocrisy with these women. To my audience out there, I challenge you right now to go on TikTok, at least as of right now, since Trump won, and see who the most racist people are right now. It's women. It's women. And ladies, let me tell you something right now. Us heterosexual men, 
we don't have to like those type of men. We don't have to let those type of men in our households or into our lives. I don't know what you women think this is, but heterosexual men, alpha type men, we don't have to, we, we don't have to associate ourselves with those men. Y'all can go somewhere with that. Y'all want us to associate ourselves with those men so bad. And if we don't, we're homophobic. We don't care. Call us what you want to call us. We don't have to associate ourselves or talk to those type of guys. We don't. We just, we don't got to do it. We're not saying we won't have a conversation with them just in, if, if, if it's in a workplace and they're, they're like that and we have to communicate with them, fine. But on an everyday basis, we don't got to bring them into our life. We don't got to do that. You can miss us with the bull crap. You women like doing that. But then you want to complain when your husband or your boyfriend is on a down low. Then that's when you become homophobic. Desperate you are, you are who you hang around. So I don't care how much of an ally you claim to be. I don't care how liberal you claim to be. Equality, love is love, rah, rah, sis, boom, ba. If you are in a relationship with someone who is discriminatory against anyone, then you align with their beliefs. And that makes you all of those bad things too. If you are desperate enough to be with someone like that, then I suggest therapy because you have really hit rock bottom. The, the, the person that's in therapy talking about somebody needs to go to therapy. Yo, you can't, you can't lose with her. You can't lose with her. She's, come on, come on, y'all. By, by, by this point in time by now, y'all got to know that all she does is project. At this point in time, y'all know that's all she does. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> Bottom. Um, if you are not willing to be single long enough to meet someone um, who is bare minimum, not someone who is a horrible person, that's a problem. Number 10, your turn. Tell me, in your opinion, in your experience, what type of guys are just automatic red flags? Do not put their number in your phone. Do not give them a second chance. That's We're not done. the damn video right there. It's your turn, ladies. Go ahead and tell her what other guys y'all should stay away from. She's done this 10 times over, so y'all should know. So go ahead and do what y'all do. I'm telling you women right now, all she did was flip the list. This is something that belongs to the men because she projects a lot. This is what men actually go through. But she has dealt with this from all the pookies she let beat up her busted yam in her lifetime. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.